Dallas online systems pretty locked up tonight. City leaders are saying that staffers right now are spending a lot of time working around the clock trying to mitigate the damage and trying to get everything back online. We're talking everything from city courts to the libraries being impacted tonight. But the biggest worry you can probably guess, keeping you safe. Our Robbie Owens is at Dallas City Hall with what officials are telling us tonight. Whether it's police officers forced to unplug from patrol car laptops. It's very frustrating to go to a library that's over here in your neighborhood and it, everything online shut down. Are no online access at Dallas's libraries. Everything from police reports to the city's courts held hostage for a second day due to a cyber attack. It's no longer the IT department's problem. Professor Renita Moraney teaches cybersecurity at the University of Dallas. She says as disruptive as these attacks can be, hackers don't always have the upper hand, and preparedness works. Having strong passwords, having up-to-date software, and most importantly, making sure that all your data, all your infrastructure can be um, can be restored from a known good point. According to a statement from Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia, the department's computer assisted dispatch is in the process of being brought back online. However, his statement acknowledged the challenges, saying, quote, while police response and police services continue as usual, Dallas police operations have been significantly impacted by the outage. 911 call takers are gathering incident details by hand and relaying that information to officers by phone or radio. Meanwhile, Professor Moraney says everyone has a stake in keeping online systems safe at work and home. We should be talking about this uh, with our family, with our children, because as our children also have devices that connect to the internet and they're clicking on links and downloading apps. The last update from the city came down just about a half hour ago in it. They said they have identified the problem and isolated it, and they are in the process of restoring systems. Since they are doing that, it would appear as though they did not pay that ransom. But I haven't been able to ask that question directly because so far city leaders have declined to enter our questions on camera and have so far updated us with statements. Live at Dallas City Hall, Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas. We know you'll stay on it, Robbie, but at least a bit of good news there. Thank you so much. Another report.